Hello friends! In my hobbies I have used different soldering irons and some of them were damaged because their lifetime has already expired but I did not use a soldering station with thermal fan so far. So I decided to purchase the thermal fan separately and also the thermal stabilizer. The latter did not come yet but the thermal fan has already come. That's the device. Please pay attention to the fact that the sellers sometimes make mistakes. And in my case they have made two mistakes. Because I have ordered the device which operates on 220 volts and which has 12 volt fan inside. Somehow the seller has sent 110 volt device with 24 volt fan. After getting of this device I decided to test it and made DIY soldering station so the power supply with the possibility of temperature adjustment. Well, this is no ATX but the old AT PC power supply. In this device two voltages are used. 220 volts for heating of this part and DC 12 volts which are increased by means of DC-DC boost converter. So this device DC-DC buck boost converter is used only in boost mode and in this device power regulator I have made some changes. We can see that the potentiometer changes the resistance between these two tips and this one and then the signal goes to this part. I have made a cut between these two tips here and have inserted the resistance of approximately 330 kilo ohms in order to prevent overheating of this device which is designed for 110 volts. And also I have added the potentiometer of 50 kilo ohms for fine adjustments. So without the above mentioned changes the voltage will be changed from approximately 50 volts to 220 and this part will be definitely damaged. But now this potentiometer is of coarse adjustment and this potentiometer is of fine adjustment. In this DIN connector we have output voltages. In the middle we have grounding, on the right side we have AC and on the left side we have DC 24 volts. And to the most interesting about these two switches. After I switch on the power supply for my common needs, for example, I often need 12 volt output with these connectors. Well, these two switches are off. This switch turns on the DC-DC boost converter and the fan here starts working. But besides it, it connects the mains voltage to this switch. Thus without this switch, so without the cooling fan, it's not possible to turn on the heater here. Only after that this connector connects the main voltage through this switch and through this regulator to this heater. And the most specific moment of this review. I have no external thermometer or maybe a small one for installation into this device. But I have found the way out. Instead of a separate thermometer I use my multimeter UT39C which has temperature measurement function. But in this case I use exactly the measuring part which is installed into this device. This DIN connector is connected to the power supply with two voltages and here we have the sensor plus to plus and minus to minus. So you can see the temperature. Also I would like to note that I have ordered this thermal fan with five tips. Let's install one of them. Let's turn on the soldering station. And now let's turn on the thermal fan. It's a bit noisy, but nevertheless it's okay. 
and the heater. So we see that the temperature increases. It will increase approximately up to 290 degrees. We can adjust the temperature by means of this potentiometer and the temperature will increase faster. For example, and then we can decrease. So in case we wait for one or two minutes, the temperature will be maximum 290, 292. This is the middle position. And in case of two minutes, it will be approximately 345. As to the maximum temperature, I have waited within approximately 10 minutes and it has increased up to 480, 485 degrees. As soon as we turn this off, the heating also turns off automatically. But don't use this method. Firstly, turn off the heater, let the temperature decrease and approximately in 5 minutes turn this device off. So in case you have the power supply, an external thermometer or multimeter with temperature measurement function with the help of power regulator and DC-DC boost converter you can build a soldering station. The disadvantage of which is absence of any automation. So you should not only adjust the temperature manually but also to control it at least every minute. As to the heating fan itself it works okay. And I would like to draw your attention to one more specific moment. If you live in the country where the mains has the voltage of 110 volts, necessarily request the confirmation from the seller that he would send you the device which operates exactly on this voltage. In case your seller sends the device designed for 220 volts, you will have to purchase a transformer, which definitely will not be put into such small power supply, because small transformers cannot provide high output power. That's all for this soldering station. Thanks a lot for watching. Wish you good luck.